I'll be showing you step by step how to resize the slideshow images in your Shopify refresh theme. We'll be doing so in the Shopify theme editor and it's not going to require any custom code. So to start things off, you'll be on your Shopify dashboard. We want to navigate to the Shopify theme editor and we can do so by going to the online store menu option on the left hand side. This should be under sales channels. And if we click on that, it should open up the Shopify theme section automatically. I currently have the refresh theme installed as my current theme. And to go and customize it, we want to go and hit the customize button here. It should open up our Shopify homepage by default. And if we go to the left hand side here under slideshow, we can see our currently enabled one. So I've just gone and added two images quickly. So it's a little easier to see the effect. So if I go through these here, I can see we have two images. You can see they don't look fully correct. And so let's go and adjust this. So if we click on the slideshow element here and we go to the right hand side, we can see these settings. And so currently I have the grid enabled, but I'd rather have the full width as I wanted to take up the entire page here. Next, we can customize the slide height. By default, it's set up as medium. We can set it to small, and this will shorten it here. We can also set it to large, and this will take up more of the page vertically. What we can also do is have it adapt to the first image. And so it's gonna automatically adjust the height of our slideshow based on the first image, so it's gonna fully display. Now, I think that's pretty long. So what I'm gonna do is leave it at medium as default. And to finalize these changes, you just hit save in the top right. Now, there is one thing to note about this. If we take a look at the full image here, we can see that there's a person standing on the rocks. But if I look at my slideshow, it's just showing the sky right now. So what we can do is set a focal point on this image. So that's where the slideshow is going to focus. And this is going to look better than just focusing on the top of the image here. So what we can do is select our image slide, go to the right hand side menu again. And this time we want to hit the edit button here there should be a pencil icon next to it. So clicking on that will bring us our preview and edit. So what we can do is add what's called a focal point. So I can click on add focal point and I can drag it to the person here as I want that to be the focal point of the image. Then clicking on save in the bottom right, I can see that rather than showing the sky, it's focused on the image, although I do have a section in front of it. So I've just moved the content position here to the top left, and we can see this person is now the center of the slideshow. To finalize these changes, I can just hit save again. And if I go load a preview of my refresh theme, I can see it looks nicely on the finalized version. Before I go, I wanna say that if you've made any sales on Shopify, you know how hard it is to keep track of your profits. That's where our sponsored profit calc comes in. It's the one click profit calculator available for your Shopify store. All you have to do is select the date range you're looking for to get real-time calculations, along with tons of different details, metrics, and analytics, so you can make smarter business decisions. It's gonna sync seamlessly with all your different ad accounts, as well as many cost of goods sold providers. To get access, there is a 15 day free trial, so you can test drive everything for yourself there's a link in the description below that will bring you to the Shopify app listing. You can also search for it in the Shopify app store by searching profit calc and looking for this logo in the top left. So that's how we resize the slideshow. We can resize the height of the image and we can also set a focal point so it's focusing on the right section. If this video helped, I would love it so much if you smash that like and subscribe button below. If you have any questions, leave a comment, but thank you so much for watching and I'll see you in the next video.